Hi everybody! Tonight for supper we are trying the KFC mashed potato bowl chicken casserole thing that I saw on my Facebook. And for it we have beef gravy. I did three packets because I don't really know if it if one cup they said one cup of gravy. I don't think that's going to be enough for my family. We love gravy. And as they said in the recipe, everything's better with the gravy on it. Woohoo! And we have instant mashed potatoes. They use instant mashed potatoes because KFC uses instant mashed potatoes. And then we have, I did sharp cheddar cheese. And we have two cans of whole kernel corn. They also use frozen. I'm going to use the can. They said you can use can too. This is the instant potatoes I made up. I did the size that my family usually has for a size, which is uh, four cups of water, two cups of milk, and four cups of instant mashed potato flakes. And... Um, I also put butter and cream cheese in my potatoes because, you know, got to add some flavor. And I put a little bit of chicken bouillon in there, seeing how this is a, quote, chicken casserole, to add a little bit more flavor. And then we have air fried chicken tenders, and you just air fry them or bake them to your crispy liking. And then you'll need a 9 by 13 pan. That's what size it says. And I think I'm going to grab a little bit of spray for the bottom just because it is potatoes. And those sometimes can stick. So that's what it doesn't say to spray the bottom, but I'm going to just because. So the first thing, I need a spatula thingy. Spatula thingy would probably be good. Yes it would, if I can find one. Are you looking at the red one? Yeah, I took care of it. I love this red one, this is my favorite. Yeah, I'll be sad the day it falls apart. The first thing you're going to do, it says, is to layer potatoes. your potatoes in the bottom. Those look really good. Well, of course they do. Your mother made them. True. You make really good potatoes. <laughs> you have the best potatoes ever. All right, and in this house, we do not mind instant mashed potatoes. I think I have perfected the instant mashed potatoes, in my opinion. You have perfected them. Um, I make them a little on the thicker side, not on the thin side. You know, like when you're in school or whatever, and you have the instant mashed potatoes, they were sometimes a little on the thin side. I never had instant mashed potatoes in my school. Well, that's because you didn't grow up in the 70s and 80s, darling. That is true. I grew up in the 2000s. And I said to put the potatoes in the bottom. In the bottom. And then... 2000s. It said to put the corn next. So I have drained the corn. It's a corn. I like corn. Now, their measurements for a 9 by 13 pan are so small. I don't know. My family maybe just eats too much. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> looking at me, yeah, you would probably think that. But I'm actually doing good. I I know you can't notice it yet. Well, I can't notice it. But I've actually lost almost 40 pounds. That's good, Mom. And then it says, I know I'm not awesome. Yeah, you got a pat on the back. <laughs> and then it says to put the chicken on top, and I think I'm going to cut the chicken a little bit, because, I don't know, it's just... It's very big pieces. Very big pieces. The chicken looks very good, Mumsy. It tastes very good, too, because it was a baby piece, and I took it. That doesn't play, <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. Well, and I couldn't resist. And then it says resist. to lay the chicken in there. This sounds like it's going to be very good. I'm quite excited. And I'm just going to cut it up into smaller pieces, like I said. I don't know. The KFC bowls, I think, have smaller pieces of chicken. 
Yeah, they do. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a KFC bowl. I've I got one just recently. The last time I went to KFC, they do have cut up pieces of I guess chicken. That one's all right. It looks like a finger. I probably did way too much chicken. That's all right. The leftovers will go in a Ziploc bag, and somebody will eat them. Probably Greg will take them to work. I don't know. Well, or I'll Emma probably. will eat them. Yeah, I'll eat them. Somebody I will like eat chicken. them anyway. They won't go to waste. I gotta sneeze. I think. But come on, already this looks great. I mean, mashed potatoes. It does look great. Chicken strips. Chicken strips are really good. That's more like a chicken patty. That is almost like a chicken patty. We'll cut <laughs> them in half and then we'll do this little cutting. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yes. I wonder if it was actually a he chicken. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely gonna be leftover chickens. I'll eat those. That's okay. I didn't know how much. To do. I don't know how much twenty-four ounces of chicken is. I really don't. Well, now I get chicken, so. <laughs> I know you're happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. See, and she's snitching it already. <laughs> it's really good. I can't help it. Mm. All right. That looks mm. pretty good. That looks very good. Stuff a couple of little tiny pieces in. There we go. That looks good to me. And then it says to put the cheese on. And you know my son and cheese. He doesn't really care for it, so we're only gonna, you know, we're gonna do part of it without cheese for him. And like I said, I have sharp cheddar cheese. Do this side. What cheese? This side of cheese doesn't yeah. matter. It does to me. All right. I don't know why. Just for some reason, I want that side with cheese. So we're gonna sprinkle the cheese on. <laughs> and in my opinion, it says two cups of cheddar cheese or whatever. Cheese we really like use. cheese, so. But I say, have at it if you like the cheese. Measure it with your heart. <laughs> measure yeah. that's it, a good one boo that's is it, isn't one. that what baking people say when they're like measure with your heart with chocolate chips or something I have no <laughs> idea I've never heard that but I have it, sound good, it sounds good to me I like to I'm, there I've measured with my heart yeah <laughs> oh I'm funny and then it says to top it with the gravy so gravy gravy's good I love gravy. Give it a stir because it's starting to thicken up a little bit. And we're just going to pour it over there. And it says to use beef gravy, I'd assume so it tastes like KFC bowls. Your side does not have cheese, right? Yes. They're leftovers. I'm waiting because I have to cut them. Look at that. You gotta love anything topped with gravy. Are you weak? See, and I think my three packets for my family is gonna be great. I could probably even get away with four. Well, I we think like that's gravy. quite a bit of gravy. Oh. See, we got the non-cheese side for my son, and we got the cheese side for all the rest of us who love cheese, and we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, it says, and then we're going to try it out. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Hi, everybody, and we're back with our finished cooked casserole. That's very good. There's the gravy and cheese side, and this is the non-cheese side. And of course, you know that I'm going to do the cheese side. Looks pretty good if you ask me. It should be good. It sounds good. Besides, you made it. Exactly. 
And it's all kind right. Of so here we are. Chop the chicken into a bite-sized piece so you don't see me. <laughs> Try to shove a whole chicken in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, I'm sure I could. I've been told I have a big mouth, so. But here we go. We got the gravy, the chicken, the corn, the cheese, the corn, the mashed potatoes. Ah. Is it good? Broke my lap. <laughs> Yes, this definitely is reminiscent of a KFC mashed potato bowl. So good. And it was quick. It only took the 20 minutes of baking time and then whatever time you need to make everything else ahead. And then it's all done and you have a beautiful dinner for your family. And... According to the website, I will post the link that I got it from. Um, this freezes well, so if there's leftovers, you could freeze it. Or you can make a head and freeze it, so you can just pop it out of your freezer and then pop it into the... We use the toaster oven here. I don't use my big oven too often. And my stove's on the fritz anyway. So, I gotta figure that out. But there we go, KFC mashed potato bowl casserole. Definitely a must try if you like KFC mashed potato bowls. So yummy, so quick, so easy. All good for the moms that have... Oh, one mom has spare time. They don't have spare time. <laughs> so all good for every mom that's always busy because they want you to be super mom. And there you go, super mom will make this. But um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And thank you so very much for supporting my channel. Have a good evening. Subscribe.